All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kel. I'm your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 32, and today you will have the very rare opportunity to venture inside the Temple of Ptah Shepsis at Abu Sir, which, in my opinion, contains the most revolutionary in-situ artifact that has ever been discovered in Egypt, surpassing even the red granite conduit and collection bowl that you just saw at the Pyramid of Nyusarei. Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to be a wild ride. So if this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the function of the Egyptian pyramids, please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support this channel, check out The Land of Chem Members Only section, link in the video description below. This month's episode will contain never-before-seen footage from the Sphinx enclosure and an absolutely groundbreaking revelation from the lead inspector of the Giza Plateau himself. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch, check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Don't forget to check out Each of Eats, our new channel here on YouTube for food review content featuring the fantastic restaurants here in Egypt. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin, here is a diagram of the Mastaba or Temple of Ptah Shepsis that was developed during the Czechoslovakian excavations from 1960 to 1974. And you will see us enter the site over the wall here into this area. Then proceed through the center of the temple into this area with the 20 pillars. Then examine the underground section of the temple, which is located over here, that is connected to the above ground sections through the connecting passageway that you can see here. And the main objective for this expedition was to show my tour guests the most remarkable in situ artifacts that I have ever seen, which you can see here from the same excavations. And at the time, it appears that they had lifted the lid off of this container that you can see here at the bottom left. And inside, you can see the dual layering of this component, with the exterior of the container being made from red granite and the interior layer of white limestone. And here is what these artifacts look like today, with the main lid having been replaced and a second container moved into place beside it, both of them having this dual layer configuration. And you can see here that the fit of the interior limestone layer is immaculate, displaying extremely tight tolerances, which would be required of a functional object of this nature. There is also significant staining on the inside layer of limestone, which to me is an indication that there may have been another third interior layer inside of this container. So this is where things get extremely interesting and allow me to introduce you to a term and concept that will be relevant in my upcoming explanation of the power source of the Egyptian pyramids, which is called dielectrics. Limestone and red granite are dielectric materials, and if there was a third interior layer, most likely made of metal, that would make for a very interesting configuration for this particular component. And now hopefully I have your full attention. There will be a whole lot more coming up soon when I explain exactly how this entire system works. But these containers aren't the only perplexing out-of-place artifacts at this incredibly mysterious temple of Ptah Shepsis. There is also this exceptional piece of stone, which is extremely rare to find at any site in Egypt. This is the same type of material that I discovered during my private special permission access into the pyramid of Userkhof in Saqqara in the smashed up fragments of the container inside the primary reaction chamber. And I have another breakthrough episode coming up explaining this bewildering material coming up soon. But for now, let's take a journey inside of this temple so you can see these containers for yourself. I hope you enjoy. 
following these guys. They know where they're going. They know the easy way. used to be a second. Mo, is there a, an alternative entrance into here? Or is this the only way? That, no, the, the entrance from the other door, the other door. It's open? No. No? So here? Yeah, I guess only. Okay. So when we climb back up, you gotta use this stone here as footing. You see this one that has the indentation in it? That's some rock climbing right there. So you guys ready? Let's do it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Wait, can someone hold my water? Or? Yep. Can someone hold my hand? <laughs> <laughs> I am going. Don't go far, really pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. Get a foot here. Thanks. Get a foothold. And Where? step down here. Here. Hey, Mo, you know I'm not and you can grab on this on the way back up, get your foothold, and back over. You're good. Here, grab onto this, okay? And then lower yourself down here. Yeah, yeah, or however you think is best. It's not that difficult. It looks a little bit more difficult than it actually is. One at a time. Nice and slow. Hold on. Get a foothold and then just hop down. Yeah, perfect. Put them to use. You have the more full one or what? The small uh, stone is full yeah. of it. The yeah, small stone is full of There we go. Pretty easy. It looks a lot more difficult than it actually is. So, babe, if you want to pass that backpack down, significant difference with the ambient energy outside, and then you cross over the structure, and it's just like a void in here. I feel like like I'm so much more calm. So much more calm. I yeah. get the same <laughs> sensation myself. So we're literally going to walk through here real quick. Quick walk around the temple, and then we're back out. Okay. But this is a, a do walk. not miss portion of this site. I think I lost you. Got in the rag, babe? Good. Okay. Yep, got it. All right. So again, you can feel it in here. Crossing the threshold into the center of the temple, these massive limestone pillars that have been eroded away in sand and wind erosion. A lot of this was buried underneath the sand. So this is the Temple of Ptah, one of the gods of ancient Egypt. And if you follow me around in this direction, let's all kind of keep together. I want to show you something of the utmost importance. So you can lay your eyes on it for yourself, and then we can head back over the wall. Ah, very good. How'd you get in here? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, no Okay. So here they are, guys. These two in situ containers. And if you look down, the one in front of us is exterior red granite, interior white limestone. And one of the main things I wanted to point out here, if you look at the terminals on each end, one of them is completely rounded. The other one, if you look here in this top left corner, is squared off. 
So one of them is kind of oval egg shaped. The other one has been squared off and they're adjacent to each other. So top right over here is rounded off. Bottom left down here is rounded off. And then you can see the one that's been squared off on the other two adjacent edges. And there's a shaft over here. So the shaft leading down into this area is over here. Just so you can see the opening into this shaft is down here. Yeah, no, my feet are scale We're good, we're good. Out here, okay. And he's got an easier way to get out over here. But to get some, get some picture, because again, this is a very rare opportunity. You can go out this way. Yeah. Okay, you can see here, look on the inside of this white rhinestone, that brown and red colored stone on the inside. So there appears to be some spaces on the interior layer. So we're looking at something that is possibly three layers a dielectric layer. And then there's no telling what was on the inside. So that is speculative interpretation of what these things truly were. And so here, there was actually a vaulted housing over here. You can see these large beams here. There was originally an A-framed ceiling over this chamber here. So these large beams here were originally part of the, you can see the angle of the A-frame ceiling that originally came up in the center of this piece here. This underground chamber here, again, my initial impression, you fill this thing with water, Whatever was going on in here, that's subject to your own interpretation. But again, I, whenever I see these shafts and underground systems, I, I immediately get the impression that they were filled with water, possibly salt water. Um, so very, very interesting. There's a whole family of bats down here.
little clay uh, pot, wait. painting pot, yeah. Or maybe that's a, maybe that's the insulator for the cap. <laughs> okay. So last but not least, the Pyramid of Sahure. And I think we're right on time. 11:26. Look at that. Pretty good. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 32, the Temple of Ptah Shepsis at Abu Sir. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode of the series, I have some absolutely monumental site visits from locations across the globe that have never before been seen here on this channel. So if this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient sites across the world, please subscribe to The Land of Kem here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell. Like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section or thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's video. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now. <laughs>